welcome in i have the king of cups here and the the jack of wands what is the king of cups energy king of cups is cancerian energy right water sign cancer pisces or scorpio so this king of cups come out here it's like you're, it's like this king is looking forward to maybe my readings is looking forward to something and then we have the king of wands we have the chariot energy for cancers on the bottom of the deck we bottom of the deck we have the hierophant so somebody could be looking watching observing reaching out to you or this could be you cancer reaching out to someone else possibly a business venture where you want to collaborate with someone and this can also be a love interest this can be someone that is very interested in you. this person may want to get married to you they may be walking away from a, a connection to come into you cancer and all right this person can be aries leo sagittarius fire energy over here but i do see you are focusing on you're focusing el elsewhere cancer and you have your back turned to this person and this person is also focusing elsewhere too i feel like this person is focusing on work but they still hold on to you that's the energy like they're literally who like, like i feel like this person holds on to a piece of your clothes and memory something of you they're just holding on to you while they're focusing on um cre growing their business creating something stable for themselves I do feel like this person is working in a, a, an environment where they're hot they have to be focused so they have to be giving a lot of their attention to work because they're building something new this person has a vision okay we have the six of wands they do want to celebrate with you see i feel like this person is holding on to you i literally get the energy of someone holding on to someone's clothes while while focusing on another things it's like so so you don't lose that person right you don't lose that person while you're focusing elsewhere but i feel their end result or desire is for them to really align with you this person may want to make babies with you perhaps with the six of ones energy and the three of cups they are attracted to you they're highly highly attracted to you cancerian okay um hmm. i do feel like in this time there's a lot of intense emotions when it comes to sexual energy so i feel like this person may be thinking of you a lot plentifully and i feel in their heart space they hold you any more clarification for the jack of ones for cancers person okay maybe this person may want to come into you make a move make some move toward you all right they're deciding to take action or i feel like this person have already taken action maybe they have already spoken to you how they feel you know they were already brave look so this could be a message coming into you swiftly because i saw the seven of wands this is a six of wands i saw the seven of wands i know the eight of wands just literally flew out here so i'm feeling this person has definitely made some advancement towards you telling you how they feel wrote you a letter i feel maybe played some music for you wrote you a poem it's that kind of energy where this person has a lot of passion and desires for you i feel like this person loves you all right but they're and it could be them that is representing in the king of cups energy as well okay so they may have a message for you for some of you they are they have already made this advancement toward you okay and you know but you may be interested in someone else or some other situation here um but you're not you're not i feel like you're not being too upfront you're not being too direct about the situation <laughs> you're not really um because you know something is about to crumble it feels or something is about to end or to give way but you're not speaking but you know that there's a tower moment coming you know that there's something that you need to say or you need to speak but you're not doing it with the ten of swords energy as if you need to speak this you're the one that holds it up in power but you're not saying it you're not allowing something to crumble and fall away and maybe that is something that you need to say to to have a new beginning um a new beginning um in direction when it comes to this person or any situation that you're in so everyone knows where the other person stands so that we can all have you know we can so that everyone can start from that place <clears throat> basically you know um get an idea of 
this is what I'm about this is what I stand for and let's start here so it's either we're going to go our separate ways or we're going to remain uh, friends or we're going to you know however it's going to be someone is going to be speaking some things a lot of passionate energy I feel this person I feel is really thinking about you sexually right cancer <laughs> We love fortune. <laughs> this person, it's like they're hoping, they're wishing on a star. Why am I laughing? But it feels like this person is wishing, like just some random act or some miracle may happen and you will be interested in them and they'll be victorious with you or they will get the response that they need from you to have this go ahead to come into your life. All right. But I feel like this person may be making plans for you. Listen, I saw this earlier, the Ten of Cups, and I wanted to take it out. But here it is, come flying out again. The Ten of Cups energy this person wants to celebrate with you. This is the new beginning. We're moving from 10 to 10, and I just got chills from 10 to 10. So something needs to end. Something needs to be said so that there is alignment or integrity here in the direction that all parties choose to play someone needs to stand up and be um, true to themselves here got to be true to yourself and then we have the ten of cups which is new beginning so it can go either way either people can separate or people can come together and celebrate <clears throat> so it depends it really depends the queen of cups and we the two of the two of cups wanted to come out with the queen of cups as well so it feels like you cancer you're focusing more on a soulmate that you want to attract and queen you dropped over here king or queen so you fell here oh god you fell here it's like you just fell in is this person may feel like you're you're a fallen angel with the eight of cups the three of the eight of wands the three of cups and the queen of cups energy <laughs> This person may feel like you literally fell into their life. Like, like you are an angel that happened to just appear, to just be in their life. They're so focused on you. I just want to tell you they love you. They love you. They love what they see, what they feel when they feel you. Because this person tries to feel you. Like when, when they think of you, they're feeling you as well maybe trying to imagine what you what things would feel like um and it, it you know it's it's not it's honestly it's not low vibration it just feels like this this pure love and attraction that one person has for another but this person is representing as well well let's continue so cancer i was saying i feel like you are focusing on other things possibly your business your your spirituality, your development, your ascension, whatever you're focusing on over here is so beautiful. The King of Wands energy, you're being free and open. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're single. I feel some of you are single. You're looking good. Like you are quality. You know, you are top quality. I mean, you come, you're like the full package here when it comes to a life partner that someone would really want to get with that's the energy i'm feeling with the king of cups you have the end the whole package like you just walk around like this oh my gosh but at the same time if you're you're not you're not focusing on on a family or love is you're really focusing on a different type of love maybe a love for your business a love for other visions that you may have things that you want to bring forth into your reality and you're finding love in these things and you know that's what i'm feeling for you so you you are visualizing this is a man with a vision both of these kings here and so some of all i feel like this is masculine energy as well cancer in which you are embodying you're putting in the work you know even though it is the king of cups energy you're investing your emotions you know you're grinding you're speaking you're being authentic you're you're putting yourself out there emotionally you're putting yourself out there creatively i feel you're really just expressing your fire your your passion and it's really shining through with the chariot energy as you come through and i want to say come through because i hear your horns blowing to -to 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 -to, as you come through like make way for cancer this is the energy i'm getting with the chariot it's so beautiful as your light shines through you and this is how we, uh, this is what you want to align with now so that's why you may be turning your back or on uncertain love connections or love interests over here cancerian right 
the king of swords the king of hearts has this sword in the, his hand here and it's standing out to me it does feel like hmm let me see what else comes out <coughs> okay hmm It feels like a self-inflicted wound. I do feel a cut on someone's face, perhaps. A scar. A scar. Okay. Angel spirits and guides, please guide me, give me some direction, something coming through. It could be someone is asking for uh, the will to survive. What is this? I feel a I feel like a sharp cut like being cut by a knife literally in on my face and uh, and then something with the heart like someone is bleeding out and they're asking for help and then the strength energy comes out here and it says to endure to hold on to the light I don't want to die so someone is holding on they don't want to die so the strength energy is like they're asking for guidance and it's almost like it's asking them asking them asking them asking for the help to or for the help to survive is for this person is really showing how how much they want to survive because I feel like this is not a person that would typically ask for help like this but it's like there's something that comes up in you with the strength energy that feels like you're about to, you're tapping into some reserve some reserve like you're, you're hitting the the panic button and you're, you're you're asking for help that's the energy like this is the last this is the the last chance or the, the only thing you have left to do is to hit the panic button and you're calling out for help with the strength card and i feel like it's just just it um just by you calling out for help it's it's that's what shows your will to survive like how how much you want to be here so if you keep focusing in that energy of and it, it also feels like strength well it does feel like feels like strength like holding on holding on in there despite the circumstances it does feel like holding on in there you're holding on you're not giving up and then maybe someone comes to your rescue which would be like this uh, an angelic presence you're holding on so hold on with the strength energy and and it feels like it feels like um let's see let's see what happens a self a sense of self identity add your identity you can be losing yourself grounding wanting to oh my gosh okay i feel like i'm getting a lot of different vibrations for people that are thinking on many different wavelengths like some people it's high it's like resonating on high frequencies and some people it's more the messages are more physical and material and so it's like going in between the two to see if i can make sense with the entire message because it could be someone physically literally holding on for dear life because i feel it right here on my face and they they need the will to survive which is the strength energy but they're holding on it's like this this holding on is beckoning out to 
to uh, maybe their ancestors their spirits their guides who will come to their aid here and i feel swiftly come into their aid okay to help this person to come to some healing uh with the strength energy this can have to do with your mental state your sense of self your identity this can have to do with your business whatever you're working on your prosperity your growth whether that's physical growth or your spiritual growth mental growth all right whatever you're working on what if you're going through hard times this is telling me with the strength card is to just hold on have that that place like the silver lining the light at the end of the tunnel energy as if that will that will is there for you to survive there's something it feels like faith as small as a mustard seed so that's this will or this faith that you have is literally so small okay it's really tiny as small as a mustard seed but you're tapping into this as i'm saying it's like that last resource that you have to stay alive because you really want to stay alive you really want to live you really want to be your full self and so i feel like you're glowing from the inside out you're about to power up because you're summoning something so amazing it could be your faith that is about to strengthen your faith your ability to manifest some of you are literally manifesting something into being now with your pure faith that's small as a mustard seed faith if it is it alone that you can find muster it up and your guides come and they help you so i feel you're glowing inside out as this seed inside of you lightens it could be your purpose your mission whatever keeps you alive and wants whatever that's making you want to hold on to continue being here keep 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 allowing it to glow keep sending your thoughts your energies your love in that direction in the direction of your vision okay so i feel like this is this a man without a vision shall perish hey and we know how the tennis the tennis swords energy look in tarot it's a man with just almost that it is end perishing okay the tennis swords energy but there's a dawn breaking and so i feel it's holding on until you power up that is your true strength that's when you really align with your true strength cancer i do hope these messages are making sense for you hmm. and i feel uh, some of you will begin to fly breath work is really important too for you so practice some breathing if you're trying to manifest some money yes i do feel like um staying staying humble meditating releasing old ideas old thoughts old beliefs about money you need to cut those out you need to dream big oh see what i'm saying these are the old beliefs that you have tied to about money and your financial situations with the devil energy that you need to release look you need to cut these off and start creating new belief patterns for yourself you are able to overcome and get out of any situation that you find yourself trapped in and this could be the devil energy and trapped in is your ways of thinking cancer and about money so i feel like focus on your vision justice because that is it you will get what you what you sow you reap what you sow all right so that seed that is in you and that seed is already already holds all of your vision you keep sending your your attention and your power into your vision it sooner or later or sooner annihilates the the negative thoughts and beliefs of not being able to move not being able to perform of giving up of uh, keeping things around you i feel alcohol for uh alcohol for uh what is the word a word that means you're co coping okay So maybe some you're you're trying to cope okay so it's it's those kinds of thinking that's going to it's those kinds of thinking that's going to um cause you to 
stay in a mindset of being not being able to manifest for yourself so you have to keep on visualizing by pl planting the seed and watching it grow so the justice energy comes out to say that is when the balance comes in that is how you bring it oh i'm not kidding i am not that is when the balance comes in we have the queen of pentacles coming out here focus on your vision why focus on the things that you don't want focus on what it is that you do want to meditate to to manifest so meditation is important we have the temperance energy i do feel some fresh cool water will help you to to feel lighter about whatever this is the devil energy and this is your block these are your blocks what's keeping you from manifesting and these are what you're focusing on. That's why you're not focusing on love. Because you do feel these kind of swords energy. Heaviness, darkness inside of you sometimes still. That you feel are preventing you from manifesting. So you're focusing on your vision. I'm repeating myself. I know the temperance energy. Go to the water. Get outside. Know that you have space in you for all things. Okay. And even so if you you have space for the blocks so you do have space to welcome in your abundance that's how i'm feeling with the temperance energy to find the balance in mind don't be stuck in one mindset one mental frame or one frame of mind you have space for all things there's clarity here ask your angels your guides for help i feel like they are already here pouring knowledge wisdom in, into you through your intuition as I said, this is divine alignment. We have the king and queens here along with the justice. We have the king and queen of cups as well. So I feel financial abundance coming into you. And that's what you're focusing on, pulling into you. I literally feel like you're pulling it into you at will. And that's what this source energy is about. You feel like giving up when it comes to possibly your financial situation and your business. But you're pulling into you. Look at how this king is focused and pulling in you're still loving and giving and caring and nurturing but in the seat of your heart you have your mission and you're focusing on your vision the chariot you want all of your abundance and you're focusing on bringing it into you <coughs> and with this energy that i'm getting from the cards i can almost assure you that you're getting it your dreams are coming true this is my ten of cups energy your dreams come true all right I was saying earlier, I don't feel some of you are actually entangled at this point. Some of you are single. You're just, uh, you know, you're just enjoying this, whatever. If you're getting spotlight, if you're getting attention, you're enjoying this feeling of being attractive, of being in purpose. You know, you know, you like you're waking up every day feeling good. I love it. You're waking up every day feeling like you're about to do something good today. You're about to, like you're expecting something beautiful when it comes to your work. You love it. And so this is where all of your focus is going. And I'm telling you, if you need some strength, this is the endurance card here. Endurance. Focus on your vision. Remember, faith as small as a mustard seed moves mountains. And these are your mountains, your blocks. All right. And so I just feel like I need to recap this one more time. Because <laughs> remember, it's so powerful. Focus on your vision. Say you want to be debt free. You want to be financially abundant. That's what this me these messages are saying to me here. You feel like your soulmate is out here. You are, I feel like you already know this. And but you're really focusing now on your business, on your money, on your purpose, on yourself, on your self-confidence, your love, just all of this these beautiful things you are focusing on now. Justice is here. It's so amazing. I just feel like you deserve this dream come true lifestyle that you're manifesting. You literally completely deserve it. It's written. It no one can take this away from you. The, the, it's like you are the one that climbed the mountain and you planted that pole there. So it's you, you deserve it. You are the first to stick the pole in the earth. I don't know. It's that energy. And, and it's, it's spiritual as well with the, with the justice energy. It's not just you. It feels like you won some championship. And the justice is here to reward you. And this is a, this is a promise. This is a seal. This is a reward that is gifted through gods i can't it's like that energy where no other human being can claim this because it is yours that's the justice energy you manifested this you brought this into your reality through your focus ability all right 
focus on your vision my love as huge as it is dream it up how however just dream it up I, I, let me see if i see the sun energy we're going to leave your messages here i love it beautiful cards any final messages the magician any final messages for cancers oh my gosh any last 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 messages for these beautiful souls the moon okay oh my gosh <laughs> All right, so we have the magician, which is amazing. Oh, I should have done hmm, the magician card, which is saying the power is within you. I do feel you're stepping into your, your masculine energy, whether you're male or female. You're tuning into your, your masculine energy. You're putting in the work. All right, you're not just relaxing and allowing. You're actually taking steps to, to um, achieving your desired goals. You're, you're creating, you're acting, basically. That's what the magician energy feels like to me. And then we have the magician and the strength card. Look, for me, the strength card is the feminine energy of magician. Infinity, abundance. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I feel like, Cancer, <clears throat> you are able to embody masculine and feminine energy when it comes to your, your gifts, your powers. You're able to be soft and divine and feminine and nurturing and knowing how to be sensitive and intuitive, knowing how to heal. And your masculine magic is also knowing how to create, knowing how to release burdens, knowing how to transmute energies and turning burdens into light. That kind of energy is knowing how to focus intentionally until your visions come true. okay so and then the cards that i have for you i have the ace of cups so i feel like a lot of love and blessings coming into you hmm this person standing out here no like they're smiling they're watching you this person could be looking at you like they're not sleeping maybe this person has a picture of you now we're going back to their energy maybe they are the one that wants to come in and give you this offer of love like they want to Hold on, let me tell you how they want to do this. <clears throat> but it feels so strange, like they're laughing while doing it. As if they have something up their sleeve. And they're coming to give this love to you, like, <laughs> here you go, here you go. You know, that's the, <laughs> that's the energy, they're laughing, like, it's, it's I, don't I don't know if I should trust this energy. But this person is also, I don't know, just go with how you feel about this. But it could be this person that wants to come in and offer you some love. There's something that's unknown or not clear. Maybe someone feels like they need some more information. Maybe that's why they're looking in at you. Maybe that's why they haven't. For some of you, they have not made a move toward you. And then we have the Empress. So this person can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or they can be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, which is Earth sign. I see strong Earth sign energies in here for you. All right, Cancer, I'm leaving your messages here. Thank you so much for coming through. I do have, um, I hope our messages and our readings get way more interesting. Uh, we'll do that. Okay, so follow your heart. I feel if you have a question that you wanted clarity on, it feels like follow your, your heart. Align with your intuition and focus on your dreams, your goals, and your visions. And thank you so much for coming through. I love you. Thanks for being here with me in this reading. I hope you found messages that resonates with you and is able to help you along your journey. If you did, please do compliment my video by leaving a thumbs up behind, sharing the video with those you love, and subscribing to my channel for whenever I post up videos for you. Much love and appreciation. All of your support is greatly appreciated. Remember to check out the description box for more, um, for anything else you want clarity on. And I'll see you in the next video. Remember that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world. Everything and anything in this world that you desire. Because you are all and all is within you. So dream big. Take care. Bye. I love you.